This video will demonstrate cleaning a Canon printhead using the Power Flush by Photofrost. Patent pending. During the use of our Photofrost edible ink printer, we might not take the time for appropriate maintenance. We expect that it will continue working properly, of course until it doesn't. And this would be at the most inconvenient time. This image looks faded because some of the colors are missing. These horizontal lines indicate that print nozzles are clogged. We can use the Magic Frost test pattern to help analyze the problem. Make a color copy using plain paper. The test printout can show us the type of difficulty and which colors are having a problem. You can print a black and white copy to test the black ink in a similar fashion. After the printing is finished, look at the test pattern you've printed to see the problems that it's demonstrating to us. Horizontal lines mean print nozzles are not jetting. Colors fading out may mean you have empty cartridges. It's very rare that the cartridges themselves will malfunction unless perhaps they've been frozen during shipping or refilled improperly. In the rare possibility that the cartridges may have been frozen, try warming them in your hands, not in the microwave. Clean the print head with warm water using your power flush. Occasionally, you can use the deep cleaning cycle to correct printing problems. You'll find it under the maintenance menu of your printer's settings. Unfortunately, if you're already having a problem, it probably won't work. And it wastes a lot of ink. If you did try the deep cleaning, it'll ask you to print a nozzle test pattern, which will confirm the problem. Breaks in the pattern, streaks, lines, or faded areas show that maintenance is definitely needed. After printing the test pattern, the printer's programming tries to follow through by asking you if your pattern matches one of the two patterns showing, and if you have a broken pattern, of course, also B, will repeat the cleaning process and waste more ink. Choosing also B and then OK will bring you to this screen, and choosing yes will take you back into the cleaning process to what again waste more ink. The best choice is to remove the print head and clean it. In order to remove the print head you must first remove the cartridges. Use the covers that came with the cartridges to cap them and prevent leaking. Be sure the silicone seal is in place in the cover for proper sealing. Check at that time for any empty cartridges and replace them as needed. Now remove the print head. 
lift the locking bar and then lift the head forward and upward. As you bring the print head out, inspect it. Look for ink deposits and signs of dirtiness. It's best to clean your print head as a maintenance procedure weekly when under regular use. If your printing habits are less frequent, it's best to use the power flush before the printer sits unused for any length of time. Rinsing the print head is not the best method because no matter how well you rinse, you can never be completely sure that the print nozzles are fully cleaned. The steam cleaning method can possibly do damage to the electronic portion of the print head. Ultrasonic cleaners are also rather uncertain and they really don't work very well. Introducing the power flush from Photofrost, patent pending. The best choice. The connector fitting has standard garden hose threads compatible with most utility sinks. It has a convenient handle, activation trigger, and a neck to fit over the print head inlets. To prepare your print head for cleaning, remove the seals around the inlet ports. Ink deposits under the seals can prevent proper sealing with the cartridge, letting air into the print head passages, causing bubbles in the ink flow, breaks in the inkjet delivery, poor print quality, and possibly premature print head failure. Use tweezers gently to avoid tearing the seals. Collect the seals into a small cup so they can soak in photofrost non-toxic cleaning solution while you're cleaning the print head. Turn on the hot water, being careful that it's not so hot that it will burn your hands. Test the water pressure and reduce it to a gentle flow. Now press the tip of the tool over the inlet port and turn it to seal. If you inserted it correctly, water will not spray backwards. Using the power flush, we can test the print head to see if it's possibly gone bad. We are looking for a fan pattern of tiny needle sprays. This one does not look very good. This example is better, but still not a fan of needle sprays. This jet shows a good fan of sprays, but there are breaks in the fan pattern indicating clogged nozzles. Now we'll attach the adapter to test the large black ink port. Seat the tip of the power flush tool firmly into the end that does not have the black seal. Be sure that the fitting seats straight onto the print head port for a proper seal. 
This is an example of a blown seal inside the print head. This print head must be replaced. Here the internal seal is failing and the fan spray is broken. This print head is questionable. Chances are it will not work very long. This print head is clogged, but it can be cleaned. The warm water from the power flush cleans the jets and penetrates the dried ink. This is a nice even pattern of needle sprays in a full fan. Be sure to see our video on cleaning your printer rollers also on YouTube. You can get both Photofrost printer cleaning tools online at photofrost.com. Replacement Canon printheads are also available from Photofrost. We hope you have the best success using your Photofrost edible photo printer.